I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A video for the month of May 2023. I really enjoy doing these Q&A videos with you guys. Um, I also really enjoy watching other people's Q&A videos. I feel like it just gives you a chance to kind of like it's just it's a casual kind of video where you just feel like you're just hanging out with a friend and it gives you a chance to maybe get to know somebody a little bit better just beyond their like typical content if they're like putting content out on youtube or instagram or facebook or what or what have you um and you guys have seemed to like it too so i really really appreciate the love and support that you have shown on this series so we have been doing this monthly i took a little break just because life <laughs> life happened time got away from me and we just kind of stopped doing it for a while but we have gotten back into doing this monthly um, and I'm glad that you guys have enjoyed watching them so we do have a few questions but we know I'm a chatty Kathy so we'll go ahead and get started if you have a question you would like to see answered on the next Q&A video that will be in June um, unless something crazy happens but it should should happen in June <laughs> uh, then leave a comment down below on this video or if you don't want to leave a comment on the video with your question you can absolutely email me at roberrywax at gmail.com and I will check that and address it in the next Q&A video for this particular video I didn't there weren't any emails that came in so it's just addressing the comments on the last Q&A so let's go ahead and get started so the first question is from our friend Lori and Lori says, hi Lisa, I love your videos and content. Thank you so much. I'm also a big fan of your weekend vlogs as well. I've kind of gotten, we've gotten out of the habit of doing them every weekend. I absolutely love doing them, but um, it just, again, like life has just kind of gotten crazy, but I'm hoping to get back into the weekend vlogs again here, hopefully this coming weekend. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, since watching your channel, I've become Sensi obsessed. Welcome to the club, friend. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. Good. <laughs> um, I have a question. Not sure if it's been asked already, but I was wondering how you and Sean met. Also, how long have you been uh, together, married? Hope that's not too personal. You two make a great couple and a Dynamo Sensi team. Thank you so much. Um, so Sean and I have been together since june well we met june 2005 so what is that is that like 18 is that 18 years <laughs> i'm getting so old <laughs> um so this year will be 18 years since we met we got and got together um we got together so we met in june 2005 we got together in july we were a thing a couple if you will in july of 2005 um, and then we got engaged July of 2006, and then we got married July 2007. So together 18 years, and then married will be 16 years this year. Dang. <laughs> It's like I, ha I like I feel like I would like he's just like he's my person. He's my rock. He's literally my other half, and I could not imagine my life without him in it. But when you say the number of years, <laughs> it's like oh man, I guess we're not like twenty somethings anymore. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, so he he's the love of my life. It's um, he's he's everything for me. We met uh cruising up and down the streets that where we came from in california um car clubs and stuff were big and doing like weekend cruises um were a big thing on friday and saturday nights and sean and i um were and have been and are still uh very passionate about ford mustangs and um, so I would cruise around with one particular like Mustang group or club and he would cruise around with another one and um, we just kind of met that we actually kind of a funny funny story we met at a red light <laughs> we we had seen each other before but not really like we didn't talk or anything like we didn't our friends didn't really like hang they hung out in like separate like crowds I guess you can say um, and so I met him at a red light and it was actually one of his best friends that hit on me first because he was in the car with him and we just 
pulled up to a red light and he was like, hey, his, so I guess they were like, oh yeah, you know, she's cute. We should talk to her or whatever. And his friend, they pulled up. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I, I got this. So pulls up and he says, are you out here all by yourself? <laughs> and I'm like, that is the lamest pickup line I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> I'm just like, really? So I was super, super snarky back in the day. Um, I still have a little bit of snark, but not nearly as much as I did back then. Um, and so I just like looked over at them and I like leaned back and I was like, yep, all by myself. <laughs> and then the light turned green and then we go to the next light and then we're at the next red light. And so uh, his friend Ryan, he was like, I don't know, I got nothing. I don't know what to do. And so Sean was like, I got this. L let me show you how it's done. And so Sean at the next red light was like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> I'm just like, you guys are lame, like serious. <laughs> and so told him my name and then that was it for that night. And then the power of my space, um, he found me. <laughs> Sean, Sean found me on MySpace and the rest is history. So we, um, we wound up talking a bunch on MySpace and we met up in a parking lot and we talked for a few hours that first night and then we've been together ever since. So, um, that's how we met. And he's, like I said, he's the love of my life. He's my best friend. He's my rock, my better half. And I seriously could not imagine doing life without him. So I'm, I feel so blessed that our paths crossed the way that they did. Cause it's just, it's so weird. Like had I not been into cars or had he been into Camaros, <laughs> like it just would not have, it just would not have wound up being a thing. Like it's so that it, that type of thing kind of blows my mind where it's like if one thing would have been different like maybe this whole life would look different you know what i mean but i don't know i i truly believe that everything happens for a reason and certain paths are meant to cross for a reason and i feel like he's my person so um yeah so there's there's the history with with sean and i Oh my gosh, we've been together forever. I'm gonna tell him, he's out running errands right now, so I'm gonna tell him, I'll be like, do you realize we've been together for like almost 20 years? <laughs> like, cause I still feel like, the, I don't know, my maturity I feel like is still the same as when we first got together. So I just feel like we're not getting old. Like, we're not getting old, right? <laughs> anyway, so there you have it, Lori. All right, next one is from our friend Brandy. And Brandy says, I would love to know more about your puppers. Well, kind of funny. There's one here in here with me, but you can't see him because he's just taking a little snoozle down here. So if you hear any moaning and groaning, it's Ranger. Um, dogs, oh, our kiddos. So we have two dogs that are our kids, our life. We, we love them. Um, I've always been a huge animal lover. So has Sean, he has grown up loving dogs and animals in general and same with me growing up uh, i know you didn't ask for like all the backstory of like all the doggos but you're gonna get it <laughs> um so growing up we had two rottweilers growing up and then we moved out of a, a house into a townhome or apartment so we couldn't we had to rehome the rottweilers i was completely devastated but um you know life life happens and sometimes you have to take some detours and um but i knew that you know eventually i would wind up getting another dog at some point um sean grew up with beagles so um so he grew up with with that particular breed and then when sean and i got together and we moved in together um we both love dogs we love animals and so we were like let's get a dog we live we lived <laughs> in a 700 square foot apartment one bedroom 700 square foot apartment no yard no nothing and these 20 somethings thought this was a brilliant idea to get a beagle. <laughs> um, and who knows, maybe, maybe if it was a different situation where we didn't work outside of the home, um, we weren't gone long hours of the day, maybe it could have been different if there was a yard, like I think it could have been different, but in our particular situation, we should not have had that dog. Um, so we got we got our first dog together which was a beagle named shelby and she was so sweet but she would run away at any chance that she could <laughs> and she loved us like i mean she snuggled and we we loved her so much but man she like the second that that door would open she would jet i will always remember we were um 
it was it was my engagement party at Sean's mom's house and I brought her along with and um someone left the door hanging open and she was went she was gone <laughs> she was gone I got her but it was so funny one of my friends was like oh Shelby just went running down the street and I'm just like and nobody's doing anything <laughs> so I kick off my heels I'm in a dress and I'm like jetting down the street and I come back and I've got her oh my gosh that poor dog so we wound up rehoming her when we realized this just isn't gonna work she needs a yard she needs someone home or someone with her like pretty much 24 7 um and that's just not us in our particular situation right now so that didn't work we did rehome her um and then when we moved out of our apartment into a home um sean was working in law enforcement at the time and he was working graveyards and i was just like i gotta have a dog <laughs> i was just like i need to have a dog i just these are gonna be long nights and i just i need a little companion with me and i just i need someone so we wound up getting our first German Shepherd together and her name was Paige and she was an all black, beautiful, long haired German Shepherd. Um, and so we had her, gosh, I think she was eight and she wound up getting cancer and she passed away. Um, we had, while we still had Paige, um, we decided she needed a friend. <laughs> we are definitely a two dog household for sure. Um, Paige, she was an angel, she was perfect, but we were like, oh, she needs a friend. And so we wound up seeing that someone had had a litter of puppies. This was not, um, they, they didn't have papers or anything. This was just like a, co a coincidence type puppy litter that just happened to happen. And it was, um, a, it was a German Shepherd um, litter and there was there was a male there that had caught our eye and his name was deuce so we had um we named him deuce so um we grabbed him and we had him since he was eight weeks old and um so it was our our first ever german shepherds were Paige and deuce and um, Paige passed away and deuce definitely went into like a depression um it's interesting because you feel like animals they just don't know any better but especially dogs they're definitely pack animals and they i feel like they do like especially when like they've got a friend and their friend passes away like they go through the grieving process too and it's i feel like it's almost harder because you can't explain to them what's happening um it's heartbreaking it's so heartbreaking i hate that part about being a pet owner is that a, you can't have them forever. <laughs> um, and B, like going through the grieving process with a surviving animal is, I feel like, oh, one of the worst things ever. Um, so we decided he needed a friend when Paige passed away. So we got Zoe. <laughs> So now we're kind of bringing you up to date to if you um, if you weren't because I don't we weren't vlogging or anything back when we had Paige and Deuce. Um, Deuce was actually kind of the reason we started vlogging because he got really sick and he had some skin issues and so I kind of that's how the vlogs kind of came to because I was kind of documenting our journey with him and what we were experiencing because we were seeing specialists and we couldn't figure out what was going on and it was it was heartbreaking but um that's kind of so for those of you you may you may remember Deuce um so but yeah so Deuce needed a friend, so we found Zoe. Our friend had a German Shepherd rescue, and Zoe had a sister. So Zoe is a Shepsky. So she is a German Shepherd and Husky mix, and um, she had a sister as well, and they were really trying to find a home to home both of them, but we were just like, we really can't do three dogs. Like, we really cannot do three dogs. Um, but if you can find a home for one of them we'll take the other type thing and um so we wound up with zoe and she's such a sweetheart but i will tell you she was she was crazy in the beginning <laughs> she was crazy there's just something a little i feel like every breed there's always like a little something different like they they always have their corks right um huskies there's she definitely has a lot of husky in her <laughs> Uh, she's super super sweet loving um so we adopted her we rescued her when she was like two like a year no she wasn't two so like a year year and a half and she is like seven or eight now so she, my girl's getting older but um she's still 
sassy and spunky she kind of she is sassy and spunky on her own time it's so funny because when she goes through these like okay i'm ready to play and ranger's like taking a nap she'll like come up and nudge him and be like yeah slim wake up <laughs> it's time to play with me like the parents got you for me so it's time it's time for you to get up and play with me <laughs> so she's she's got a super fun personality so um so that is zoe rescued her when she was about one one and a half and she's like seven or eight now um and then we have ranger so when we uh when we lost our boy deuce that was another like going through the grieving process with zoe which was so hard because she was so vibrant and spunky before and then you just see them go through the grieving process and they they, they don't understand they just know that their friend is gone and they're lonely and they're sad and it's it's so heartbreaking so i was like and <sighs> losing deuce was gosh am i gonna get emotional i'm gonna get kind of emotional um he's still my boy um but it was really that was probably the hardest loss we ever experienced and sean was like i don't know that i can get another dog he's like i just don't know like deuce was so special he was so special and we went through a lot with him and i do it all over again like we because he had mobility issues um we had a two-story home in california and we basically we slept and lived downstairs um for gosh like it was like i feel like it was like six months i feel like it was like six months maybe it wasn't that long but at least like four to six months um we i slept on the couch sean slept on a cot we gave him medication around the clock like every four hours um that's just what you do i don't know like they're they're dogs for us are our kids like they're so much more than just pets um and that was a really really hard loss for us and um sean was just like i i can't do this again he's like i can't i can't get another dog and the way i for me like not that we were deuce will never be replaced like ever um and not, none of our dogs will be but um i just felt like zoe needed a partner like zoe needed her friend and so that's where i was thinking not that i wanted to replace anybody but that like i felt like it would help zoe to have a friend so gosh it was about a year it was about a year after deuce was gone um that we found ranger <laughs> and ranger is our sweet special child um uh, ranger he's very he's very special um ranger we found from a from a rescue our friend who owns the rescue and um he was papered so he's full full-blooded german shepherd um akc all all of all of the things and extra extra crazy <laughs> um so we man we brought him home and we didn't know what we had gotten ourselves into <laughs> um so we rescued him when he was two and again i think he was like one and a half or two but yeah gosh he has yeah he's gonna be four this year yeah so we had him since he was like just about two so um oh my goodness we did not know what we were getting ourselves into with him um the family who had him before the part of they're to blame for part of it but also ranger just kind of marches to the beat of his own drum <laughs> like he has he knows no boundary he's he's gotten a lot better since we invested in professional training but um like boundaries aren't really like a thing he's he's learning even still he's learning um he's not afraid of anything <laughs> so like you can try to discipline him and he's just like don't care <laughs> he's just like challenge accepted so um yeah and it was like bringing him into our house because we keep our dogs inside it was like he had never been inside a house before and he lost his mind and he was just like he was like a gazelle running up and down the stairs like he I, sean and i just looked at each other and we we're like what do we get ourselves into and especially where sean was like totally fine like never having another dog again um i felt really bad i was just like oh my gosh this has to work like this just has to work um 
And so it, it was so close for us to actually contact the rescue and be like, this is not a good fit because he just, he was just crazy. <laughs> he was just so crazy. But after lots of time, after lots of patience, after lots and lots and lots of work and training, um, we love, we love Ranger. He's, he's fantastic. He's absolutely insane. Um, but he loves so fiercely and so he's so loyal to you. Um, Sean is definitely his person, but when Sean's not home, <laughs> like he's right down here with me, when Sean's not home, he's definitely stuck to my side. He just, he doesn't want to be without his people. And I love that. I love how loyal he is and he loves fiercely for sure. So there is all of the backstory of all of the puppos and um, Ranger is going to be four this year. So rescue both of our pups that we have now. So hope that helps. Thank you so much, Brandy. I appreciate you. And this next question comes from Not Your Common Sense with Aaron. Um, so Aaron says, I have a question. What is your all-time favorite warmer? Of course you would do this to me, Aaron. <laughs> of course. Um, and also something super random, which I love. I am here for all the randomness. Um, what's your favorite Pop-Tart flavor? <laughs> Um, so I'm not really one for sweets, um, so I can live with or without them, but if I was to pick one Pop-Tart flavor, and I don't know if they're even around all the time or not, but I know they were once upon a time, and it was the s'mores flavor. I love me a good s'mores flavor, basically anything. Oh, and I remember the Pop-Tart uh, s'mores, so dang good, so dang good. For Sean, it would be strawberry all day, every day, and twice on Sundays. Um, but all time favorite Scentsy Warmer. This took quite a bit of thinking because I, there's so many of the warmers that I, that have like a special place in my heart for different reasons. Um, and just ones that I just love and they're beautiful and I know I'll never get rid of because I love them so much. Like Champagne, like uh, Mirrored Rose, like the Lumina Pumpkin, like en uh, the Enchanted Pumpkin. All like those I just, I love so much just because I love them. Um, but I would say if I were to really honestly look and, th and think about what my favorite Scentsy Warmer would be, it would probably be this one right here that you see in my background here. And I will, I'll actually do like um, a closer shot of it. Um, and the reason for that is because that's a warmer that was earned. It was, it's not a, a warmer that you can purchase. It wasn't one that was available to everyone. It was only available to earn as a consultant during an incentive period. And that warmer just kind of reminds me that like, you can do this. Like you can totally do this. I re will always remember signing up for Scentsy I didn't want this to be a business or anything, but even like in the back of my mind, I always thought, well, like, even if I wanted this to be a business, like I can't do the things that she's doing, or I can't earn those trips, or I can't earn those incentives and that beautiful warmer and this and that, cause that's just not me. Um, and that warmer is just kind of a reminder that why the heck not? Like you totally can do this. You can earn this. Um, there's no reason why you can't. And so it just kind of gives me a little push and it's also beautiful. There's these beautiful but butterflies that are on it that I, I just love, but it's just kind of that reminder of like, Yes, like you can do this. There's no reason why you can't. So I would say that one would be my favorite warmer. So I figured I would show you this warmer a little bit more up close so that you can see it in its beauty and I don't forget to show you. Uh, let me move some of these figurines so you can see them a little bit better. There we go. So you can see my reflection, but um, I don't know, this just, is a really special piece for me. It's not one that um, just anyone could have purchased. And it's just, you know, I earned it and it was, it's just kind of that reminder that like, you know what? You can do this, sis. Keep on going. So I would say this is my favorite warmer. Okay, and moving right along to our next question. This next one is from our friend Paula. And Paula says, hi. While on the topic of pods, how long do your pods typically last? I have two fan diffusers in our laundry pets room and I feel like we change the pods every 24 to 48 hours. My favorite pods to diffuse are um, there are Vanilla Mint, Clothesline, and Make a Splash. Excellent choices. Definitely some faves for sure. Love Make a Splash, it's so dang strong. 
Whew, love it. Um, my question would be, so I would say probably four to five days is usually how long I'll usually um, let them, the, how long they usually last. Um, I'd say five days for, for me personally. So my question for you would be, are you using one pod at a time or are you using two? I typically will use two pods at a time and I will usually turn it off at night. So um, with that being said, do you have, you know, if you're keeping your, your wall fan diffuser on 24 seven around the clock, and if you're using one pod, not two. So I would definitely use both pods. Um, and then maybe just, I don't know, if you want to, if you want to try to prolong the, the scent of the pod, maybe just turn it off at night and then turn it back on in the morning maybe. So, um, but you should get about 120 hours worth of use for the two pods. So, um, yeah, so I would just wonder those little things there. So hope that helps. Thank you so much, Paula. So next one is from our friend Denise. And Denise says, hi, Lisa, question for your next Q&A. I am wanting to try Scentsy Counter Clean and or All Purpose Cleaner. What is the difference between the two? What surfaces do you use with each? Is either one good on, to use on Windows? Thanks in advance. Thank you so much for this question because this is definitely one that I feel like does get asked just to me personally um, quite a bit and it's they're great questions. So counter clean is going to look a little something like this. Yes, don't judge me. <laughs> I am not a seasonally appropriate scent cleaner girl. <laughs> I'll just use whatever. Like it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, so I'm just finishing up with some apples and cinnamon sticks <laughs> in the counter clean. Not too much left. There's probably just a little bit left. So you'll probably see this in an empties video here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so the counter clean you'll get in the spray bottle just like this. I personally would say they're very, very similar. Um, the ingredients are almost exactly the same. So I would say, and just based on use, the only difference that I have ever noticed was just on one particular surface and it was in our old house. We had granite countertops here. We have quartz, but, um, the counter clean would leave like a streaking residue almost on our countertops in the old house. Whereas the all purpose cleaner for me did not. So but in terms of like you using on floors or stains or appliances or what have you, basically any other surface, to me, they're basically exactly the same. The only difference is that you've got um, the all purpose cleaner is a concentrate. So this um, entire thing is going to get you several bottles worth of use because it's, uh, is it? Yeah, it's one part of the concentrate to three parts water. So um, if you're using a spray bottle or what have you, just do one part of the all-purpose cleaner concentrate, the rest water. So you're gonna get several bottles worth of use out of this. But also what I really like, cause you're not really gonna use this like on your floors, like in a like big like setting, like you're not gonna mop your entire floors with counter clean. Um, whereas the all-purpose cleaner concentrate, you can totally mix this into a bucket of hot water and mop your hardwood floors or tile floors or what have you um, with the all-purpose con constant cleaner concentrate. This is amazing for hardwood floors, you guys. Absolutely incredible, love it so much. My floors have never been cleaner than when I use the all-purpose cleaner concentrate. So, and this I just, count to three. <laughs> I know so many people will ask and be like, how, but how much do you know how much to put in to the mop bucket versus how much water? I just go one, two, three. <laughs> that's all I do. I've got enough suds. I'm good to go. So, um, that's, that's what I do there. So if you want to use more, you totally can. Um, if you want to use less, you totally can do whatever works best for you. But in terms of actually like mixing into, um, into a bottle, it's one part uh, to three parts. So there is that, but in this house, the counter clean works great on, on the counters, on all surfaces, all surfaces. It's just a matter of this makes more sense to mop my floors with this rather than this. So just, you know, for that, but, um, in terms of using it on windows, I, I don't know. I feel like there would be some streaking. I haven't used this on windows um, and I wouldn't in this house. We are, our windows are tinted in our, in our house. And so there's like a special cleaner that we need to use. So I wouldn't use 
this on or this on the windows because they have tint and I don't want to mess it up so there's a special like thing for that but I don't know like mirrors and stuff I feel like it would be I feel like it would be streaky comment below if you have used the all-purpose cleaner concentrate or the counter clean on windows or mirrors and if it's been streaky I feel like it would be but I I don't know I haven't I haven't used it so I just think in terms of like practicality maybe go the all-purpose cleaner because you're gonna get a lot more you're gonna get several bottles out of this um but if you need the spray bottle the counter cleans great so I don't know that that was really very helpful <laughs> but um I hope it helps you make a decision maybe I definitely see the use in my home for both um but I think if you're only looking for one I would maybe do the all-purpose cleaner concentrate so there's that I hope that helps okay and next one is from our friend and I apologize if I mispronounce your name um is from Alara I think that's how you pronounce your name Alara uh she says <laughs> you're gonna hate me <laughs> I don't hate you but I might not love this question <laughs> um what are your top favorite 10 cents of all time also what nail polishes do you use and how do you use nail polish so often without damaging your nails so um i i go i go to the salon i go i go to the salon i i just i don't have tips put on or anything but i feel like that's kind of like my zen me time every few weeks is just going and getting my fingernails and my toenails painted and it's just like uh, it's just some good me time I already told you how much I love my husband. He is the love of my life, but we are together 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> and just as much as like I need that time, he does too. So just to have just like an hour out of, you know, every few weeks to just go and just clear my mind and have somebody else do my nails is just, it's so worth it to me. Um, but I was for a long time. And if I ever just like didn't feel like going to the salon, I do, um, this there is a fantastic like at home manicure system that you can do um called gel moment and that's um it's a great great company it's a great great product um gel it lasts so long it wears so well on the nails um, and it's all at home so you can purchase the led light and there's a bajillion different colors super user friendly super easy to do so i was doing that for the longest time but then um i don't know i was just like you know what like i don't buy fancy clothes i obviously i, I have a thing for wax and warmers <laughs> that's pretty much my vice but like i don't know i don't go all out on fancy clothes or or purses or shoes or anything like that so i'm like i'm gonna go get my nails done so uh no tips or anything i just do some gel polish on my natural nails and i like it it makes me it makes me happy it gives me a few moments out of the house every few weeks and i like it so that's that's what i do but i would um say if you're looking for an at-home manicure system gel moment is fantastic so i would highly recommend um top favorite sense of all time <laughs> it's so hard okay i i haven't even like given this like i i try to like kind of have things ready like before the q a and just to be able to like show you some things or like think about things that like, this video isn't like seven hours long it's so hard to only choose 10. Okay, um, I'm just gonna rattle off some that I feel like I can't live without. And I know someone else is going to like, they're gonna remember some of my favorites and they're gonna be like, but what about this scent? But what about this scent? I'm so happy I don't have to only choose 10. <laughs> you guys are going to see my Scentsy Club haul that is going to be coming in a few days. Um, so you guys are going to see. I'm glad I don't have to make any choices. So, okay, just this is purely just like spitting off the top of my head my top 10 favorite scents. So let's see here. So I'm going to go with Sweet Plum Pastry. I'm gonna go Huckleberry Sage. That was my very first Scentsy heartbreak ever was Huckleberry Sage. I'll always remember that moment when my heart broke. Um, thankfully it's in my club now, so yay. Simply Vanilla, Dumbo, Sanderson Sisters, Perfectly Wicked. See, there's already five and I, I'm not even like necessarily giving it a whole lot of thought. Um, very Perry Pumpkin. Oh my gosh. Um, did I say Dumbo? Did I say Dumbo? I think I said Dumbo. Um, oh, this 
of all time. Of all time. Rainbow Red. Um, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of like cakey kind of scents. Can I have Happy Birthday and Lemon Coconut Chiffon? Because they're both cakey scents, but they're totally different. Um, mm, oh my gosh, this is so hard, you guys. Uh, I'm going to go Lemon Coconut Chiffon. There's only two left. I'm going to go with Pacific Sandalwood. I really love that one, you guys. Um, what's my last scent? Apple butter frosting, so good. Cranberry muffin, there's so many, there's so many. So those would just be like off the top of my head. Now I already, like I said, I already know. Some of you out there are gonna be like, sis, but what about this scent? What about showered in flowers? What about Luna? What, what about lemon drop it low? Lemon drop it low would have to make my top 10. What am I supposed to do with 10 cents only? <laughs> So that's just like, that's, that's all I can give you. I'm sure there's others that I am leaving out that I know I would kick myself if I didn't have for the rest of my life, but that's just what I can like spit out there. So I hope that helps. <laughs> okay. Next one is from our friend, new fee mom and new fee mom says, wondering what you do with the cotton cleanups once absorbed with wax. I read somewhere cotton can be used to start fires and so can crayons. Wondering if you ever tried them to use, uh, to start, if you ever tried using them to start a fire words, Lisa. Yes. I absolutely have and do. So you can see I keep I keep all of my uh, cotton cleanups here in a little Ziploc bag. Um, once they're all used up and cooled down, then they go into the Ziploc bag and we absolutely use them to start fires and they work fantastic to start fires. They really, really do. The perfect fire starters. So if you're going to buy the cotton cleanups anyway, use them to soak up the wax and then don't feel like you have to just like throw them away. You can totally use them to start fires. They're fantastic fire starters. And in case you, you haven't tried these and you're like, but there's a handle that how, how is that going to work? This handle is cardboard. So it all just burns up just the same. So yes, I absolutely recommend using these as fire starters. It's so funny. I was actually pulling these out and Sean was like, I think we have enough of those right now. I was like, Oh no, no, I'm using this for my video. <laughs> I'm showing them that we actually do use them. So yes, we do use them. <laughs> Absolutely, highly recommend 10 out of 10 stars. Thank you so much, new female. All right, next one is from my friend, Debbie Smith. So Debbie says, hey Lisa, I heard you say that you prefer uh, your hand soap to be foaming. I heard you say that you make your Scentsy one into foaming. I was wondering how much water do you put in the hand soap? And yep. Absolutely. So I just buy these, um, or I have purchased these, um, foaming hand soap dispensers off of Amazon. This is a great one. I will, I'm sh there's like a bajillion of them out there. If you've got some old like Bath and Body Works ones that will totally work too. Um, I like these cause they're glass, um, and they're easy to, to clean and all of that. So, um, I'll link these ones down below. It came in as a set of two and you've got these cute little stickers that you can put on the front and stuff. So I'll link down below what these particular ones are. But what I'll do is, so I take these um, Scentsy hand soaps and I will just split this in half. So I'll do half in one container, half in the other container, and then just the rest is water. So typically this will be, uh, it's about a little more than a quarter of the way um, will be all of the liquid hand soap from Scentsy. And then the rest, I just put water in and then you shake it up really good, make sure it's all mixed up and then you've got foaming hand soap and it smells just as good as the Scentsy stuff. It is the Scentsy soap. It's just, um, foaming. So love that. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much, Debbie. And thank you to everybody who had a question and wrote in for this Q and a today. That is going to be it for today. I really tried to not have this be an hour long, but here we are. <laughs> it's always long when it's me because I just like to talk your faces off, but no, seriously, I really, I appreciate the love and support here on my channel. Um, it means so much to me. I love these, these style of videos cause it just feels like you're hanging out with a friend and you just 
we can kind of get to know each other better. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the Q&A series. Uh, we'll be picking back up again next month. So any of the questions that you ask here on this video or you email into me will be answered in the next Q&A for June. Oh my gosh, because next month is June already hot dang. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things. Well, this wasn't necessarily all sensey, but you'll just stay up to date with my channel. <laughs> all right, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.